It seems fitting that on a day when the country marks its independence that St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church officially celebrates its reopening. It was the only house of worship demolished during 9-11. CBS 2's Andrea Klein-Thomas takes us to the emotional consecration service. In the shadow of the 9-11 memorial, a day more than two decades in the making, St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church officially reopened one block away from its original location, this time as a national shrine. He's able to help. It was the only house of worship destroyed in the 9-11 attacks. Little more than faith could be salvaged here. But ballooning budgets and scandal almost put this day in jeopardy. Construction stalled as private donations dried up. In 2019, the Friends of St. Nicholas was established to raise and better manage funds to complete the project. I can tell you I was here last night, yesterday. Everybody who came in started crying, literally bawling. We've waited for this for a very long time. I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Every single ornate detail holds a special meaning, from the marble gifted from the Greek government to the vestments that pay homage to the lives lost. This monument honors the first soldiers who entered Afghanistan starting the war in response to 9-11. It also physically marks the location where the church once stood. Consecrating the church on July 4th only adds to the sentiment. We have um, clergy and laity from all over America and even all over the world, and they're all here praying together. And so it's really a beautiful symbol of um, what we're all about. The prominent white dome, now a symbol of renewal. I feel that this tremendous sense of peace um, for all the souls. New hope, while never forgetting the tragedy that brought them here. In Lower Manhattan, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News.